since America has spent the past two years improving its tools against COVID-19, it's on the defense again with another quick spreading virus rarely seen in our country. This time, it's a major outbreak of monkeypox, which last happened in 2003. Currently, monkeypox is most prevalent among gay men. There is a very effective vaccine available right now, and it will prevent you from getting monkeypox. The problem is availability. It's not available yet. I'm told by the end of this year we'll have plenty of it and that um, we can vaccinate ourselves out of this problem. Last week, Oakland County formed a task force to fight the spread of monkeypox. Dave Garcia, executive director of Affirmations, Michigan's largest LGBTQ center, is a part of that committee. We cannot make the same type of mistakes that were made in the HIV epidemic when it comes to stigma and stigmatizing an entire community when it, uh, about a virus. And so the straight community, the gay community, the bisexual community, everyone has to work together if we're going to eradicate and get in front of this virus. While monkeypox has been the focus, a case of polio, another virus thought to be dormant, surfaced in New York State. The unvaccinated patient was infected after receiving an oral polio vaccine. New York health leaders say the man is no longer contagious. We asked Dr. Matthew Sims, director of infectious disease at Beaumont Health, why these usually dormant viruses are showing up in the community. Any infectious disease can get into the population if it infects the wrong person at the wrong time who then can spread it. Dr. Sims says outbreaks happen when there's a significant number of unvaccinated people. While most cases of monkeypox and the case of polio happen to adults, the World Health Organization says globally, 23 million children did not receive their routine vaccines during the height of the pandemic. Several studies show children vaccination rates dropped 80% at that time, making diseases like chickenpox, measles, and mumps prime for a potential outbreak. There is definitely a concern about uh, kids who missed their vaccines during the pandemic when we were in lockdown and have not caught up. And, and some of which the parents are not intending to catch up. When it comes to the spread of monkeypox in Oakland County, Dave Garcia of Affirmation says they need to be proactive instead of reactive. And part of that means having a strong messaging campaign in the community and on social media. Brandon Hudson, Fox 2 News.